Kristen here for another What's Up Wednesday. And today I'm really excited to show you some of my favorite apps that I've been lucky enough to play with on this New Line Q, peer, Q series panel. Excuse me. So um, there are tons of them. So I have gone to the New Line App Store and I have dug through this. It's been over months of using this panel. And these are the ones that I really find to be um, the most engaging, the most fun, the most useful for me. So I found Quizlet or I use Quizlet Spinner PBS Kids Games. There's two different PBS Kids. I prefer the games ones. And then this C-O-I-R-L-E. It is a cool engagement um, app that we have on here and GeoGebra. So let's jump right into, I'm just going to show you them in real motion and hopefully you'll be able to take what I tell you today to go dive into them yourself. All right, for starters, let me show you where that new line app store is. So you can just go into apps on your home screen of your panel and then you have the new line app store did i pass it there it is it is this really cute purple blue new line app store so when you go in there you can search for different apps that you would like so i already have found these they are in there are my shortcuts on my home page for me to easily get to so the first one i'm going to go to is quizlet now quizlet if you've been in the classroom for any length of time you're probably familiar with it to a certain extent this is what it looks like similar to on your computer. However, I really love the um, the use of the app on your panel because it allows you to actually have kids come up here and be engaged with it. So I am already logged into my account. You can see my library right here. It brings all my study sets in. Those are some there. Um, I would like to, so that looks the same, but I would really like to bring some attention to this plus button. And when I swipe up, I have magic notes. So, you know, like the world of AI is here. Um, I really love it when AI helps me as a teacher cut some steps out of uh, creating and being um, brainstorming and coming up with really fun things for my students. So watch what I can do. I'm going to go into magic notes and I'm just going to select files because this is connected to my drive on my panel. I do select files. It's already deciding like it's going to my drive because I've gone to it at some point today. And you can see that it will open up PDFs. So what I have done previously is I already have PDFs of some notes put into this folder. This is a folder that's already established. Didn't really take any time. And if I'm being honest, I knew I was going to do this for this particular video for you. So I just went to um, Gemini and I created a list of some figurative language with descriptions. Um, and I cleaned it up a little because I like to put my own touch on things. I don't just trust everything that comes out of an AI generated chatbot. So I do have that saved as a PDF. When I select it, you can see it pulled it in. And I'm going to hit start transforming and it's doing all the things for me. So think about like when you have early finishers or you have students that just they don't necessarily need what everybody else is doing. You can do this with those students. So it's doing summary. It does take a little bit longer for some things, which is that's typical. We're in the computer world. Um, it does have my flashcards created and some essay questions. So let me show you those. So the essay questions. Y'all, I really, really love these, and I love that it took straight from the PDF. So it read that PDF, and it said, here are some questions, and it even sorts them based on difficulty. So um, I love this last one. Interpret the symbolism behind a specific object in a novel that you have studied, or something that's a little bit easier. Explain the impact of personification in a story you have read recently. So that that's, like, different. I would not necessarily just come up with that on the spot. The Quizlet just did for me. Now, another benefit of using Quizlet on my panel is whenever I go into my study set, so this is the one that just was AI generated, of course, I have my typical flashcards. But look, if I pull these up, they become interactive on this panel. So if I do match, start a game, I can have kids come up here and it now has become something that they're, um, they are engaged with, they can collaborate, they can have a competition. Um, so here, here's an example, attributing human qualities to non-human things is going to be personification. Get it. Object re representing something else is a symbol. So you get the idea, but it's a little bit different experience on the panel than it is on their computer. All right, so that's app number one. My other ones do not take as long. I just wanted to spend some time there. Another app that I really like is just Spinner. So go to your new line app store, search for Spinner. 
It is a random picker. That's just what they call it. Um, I'm going to close. I'm not updating it. It's not, it doesn't fit with this panel. But you can see I have some that I've already done. Um, this is one with some colleagues that I work with. So I can go into that. Let me go into it this way. And it's really cool, colorful. Um, it's just a really quick, fun way to be able to, to either bring in content or bring in your student names. You can see stats on it. You can have it, save it. And of course, you can add new. And there are some that are already made. So Spinner is something that is really worth checking out. Another one that I really like is PBS Kids Games. So PBS Kids Games, ignore the pink for a second. It's going to blind you, but it's super cute, super fun. Um, it looks a lot like it does whenever you're on your computer. Um, however, there are some things that are engaging on here. So I'm going to just click on Wild, Wild Kratz. I've already loaded this one earlier. I do have it muted so it doesn't create any kind of feedback. But whenever your kids play it on this panel, then it becomes just like the, the other app that I showed you, it becomes engaging. So they can come up here and move things around and answer the questions with the avatar. I'm just gonna hit next. We do have closed captions. And of course, PBS Kids really does a good job of doing everything in like an educational facet. Of course, there's different games on there that um, might be like Super Y, they're more educational. So I really do love this piece that we can pull directly to our panel. And I could really get lost in this, but I'm just going to go ahead and get out of it because I think you see the idea. And of course, the further I go through this lesson, the more that comes out of this. Okay, so I'm going to exit and I'm going to go back home. So PBS Kids Games. The fourth one, I'm going to let you just see the logo of it. It is super cool. It's Interactive Classroom Activity, C-O-I-R-L-E. I, -R -L -E. I honestly just came across this one this week because New Line Interactive Facebook page put out something that gave a code for me to be able to access the paid version of this, like a, a trial sample. Um, and it's just great, y'all. It's got these interactive games. Of course, I can change the grade level. Um, I have gone in here and played with quite a few of them, and I could see my students really loving it. There are a lot for lower grades, but I saw some that could definitely be used for older grades. They have um, some physics stuff. Um, let me go into, let me find one that I did already that I thought was really, uh, uh, that I thought kids would really like. So counting coins. And you can, of course, create favorites. I'm going to play it. But y'all, this is really perfect for the panel. So it's like all engaging and um, students have to come up here and like get physical. They got to come up here and do it. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cents. So I take it, grab it. That is seven cents. I'm going to show y'all how smart I am counting some pennies. And it did not, I didn't count it right. Look at that. Seven, six. That's what I get for trying to talk. And it does give them these little badges, close it. And of course, when you hit replay on some games, it does replay the same thing, probably because I missed it, but it takes you to the next level. So this is really a precious little site. Um, again, I saw things for different ages. There are fraction bars where you can show things. Um, there is actually this one over here to the bottom left. That would be how we would um, do like coding. So y'all, there's things of all levels on here. So I totally encourage you to go check out that app, C-O-I-R-L-E. Not even gonna try to say it, but go for it. And then the last one that I just wanna expose to you, I'm not gonna do much with it, it's GeoGebra. This was recommended to me by one of the new line, um, one of the new line specialists that we work with, Patricia Ferreira, and she said that she uses it quite a bit. And guys, it is a graphing calculator. It, it shows functions. It does things that are far beyond what my little math brain can do, but you do have the full graphing calculator or the, uh, the entire map. I can add points and do things with it. So I totally encourage you to go check out GeoGebra and see how it can work for you. All right, guys, that is it for my What's Up Wednesday. Hope you were able to get something out of these five apps I just shared with you. Have a great day.